Yo, buddy, how you doing? Good morning. All right, so we're playing Rise vs. Riven, top lane. Hmm. The Riven has resolved, which is interesting because most Rivens take either, what's it called, Inspiration or Sorcery Secondary. They never take Resolve. Oh yeah, this one has it. I actually think this matchup is not that bad for Rise because I think you could do Service and then Rylas and then just Kyder permanently. Or you could do serve some Morellos because they have Soraka and try killing her quick. But yeah, I'm probably going to do the Morellos build just because I have Soraka. If I do Rylas, I probably don't do damage. I have to flash here, sadly. I start Q to get a mana flow stack, which I at least got. Mm. Okay, um, starting Q is a little risky too. Well... Their Kimberly just started E. I had to flash that or they would just ignite me and then I would have to flash. Like, if you save your flash here, they're gonna get free autos on you and eventually you're gonna have to flash anyways. And you might die because they would flash forward and kill you with it. But if you flash early, then they can get those gap closer auto attacks because you got distance. So they would have to flash and then do the auto attacks. Which means you don't die, but you flash anyways. Like, there was no way I wouldn't flash there. Because enemy team could auto me to death. That's why you should never be greedy level 1. It doesn't make sense. Eventually you're going to flash either way. The question is. Are you willing to die and use your flash? Or are you willing to at least survive and use your flash? Oh yeah, I gotta survive. This is not that bad. I can just keep using Q auto. I get the movement speed. More autos. It's okay if I miss minions. Her HP matters a lot more right now. Level 2, I'm gonna get my E because I wanna be able to spam. And then I'm gonna get my W. Oh, I actually... My pot didn't go off. So, she could flash on me here, by the way. And do her entire combo. That's why I'm gonna use double pot. Be safe. Get level 3 and then she can't really kill you. One thing there is, their Echo could easily gank top, knowing I don't have flash. Oh, this would suck. And we're doing reverse jungle. I can die so easily, it's not even fair. But if I don't push this wave, I'm basically just dead forever here. Ah. Oh, that movement spits lovely. She was the only one with a snare, so... Just stun that guy and then run away. Well, this ain't too bad. We survived the gank. That was a gank that I could not survive. And she got enemy red buff. And her own red buff. It's huge. Being able to survive that. I'm waiting a little mana. And then I'm gonna TP back, like right here. This is fine. If she trades with me here, I win the trade. Ooh. Oh, I gotta reset again. The thing is, if I don't reset, she's gonna TP back and I lose all my pressure. But if I TP, I mean reset and then walk back. At least I have some pressure remaining. Nice, okay. I don't think this wave is gonna push fast enough. The next wave is gonna go there. Unless Riven is broken, which I guess it's debatable. 70 seconds and we have TP, I mean flash advantage. If I landed the first Q, I would kill them though, right there, when we fought. I'm not gonna use my Q because it's gonna mess all those minions up. Oh my goodness, I am so... Huh. Fair to say I'm a little tilted. Whoops. That was the worst CS thing I could have had. Riven's pathing top, if I fast push this, she could actually just freeze it at the wave. But if I make it a double wave stack and then push it in, she can't really hold it back. That's what I'm waiting for the next wave before I fast push this. If she walks up for a minion, I can EQ the minion. And hopefully do a damage to her. Nice. Okay, team. There we go. That's good damage. Every time she walks for a minion, I just do that. I don't want to use too much mana. I already used way too much. Alright, this is perfect here. Dude, these minions are helping her so damn much, aren't they? I am so unbelievable. Like, wow. 
Okay, I guess I'm trolling. What the f is that CC chain? For how long can you not move? And how fast can she gap close like that? I knew I shouldn't have done that though. And I still went for it anyways, so I guess it's my bad. Well, this is how you play from behind now. Like, if you die and lose all your pressure, now you have to focus on anything you can do to come back in the game. So if I push the wave in, I'm at a risk of dying. If I let the wave get too big on my power, I'm a pretty, probably at a risk of getting dove. It's so hard to survive, but if you do survive, then you're fine. It went from like being easy level to being extreme after that death. And she got her CDR, perfect build for her. My gosh, man. Ah, oh, please look at her HP. Oh, I cannot believe this. Should have probably used my Q rather than snaring the guy. And I immediately killed him with the combo. But if I didn't use my snare, there was a chance I would miss my Qs. And I couldn't probably kill him. Wait, you. Huh. Doesn't even win that. Bro, this matchup. Should have probably picked the bruiser. In an instant, all could be gone. The sad part is I don't even get any help. And their echo has been top twice already. But the good part is we got a dragon. Oh nice, I actually did the damage right there. I need to wait on my W. How does she reach right there, man? These kills reach so easily. I should have baited it properly. I knew she was in there too. Wait, how does his R back up already? Wow, that was actually a good dodge by Y. This is so sad. I don't even get the shot angle too. Ah. Oh, Matchup is becoming brutal, man. Surviving... A fed driven is impossible, but the good part is we still have CS. They're also kind of full AD, don't go on like. Are you stupid? Is he really wanting me to like flash in there? Without even having flash, actually. Oh my gosh, this is so horrible. Now I can't even walk this way back to my lane. How much damage does Ziggs do? Okay, Sorka is gonna heal everything back up. Nobody's passing top here. I just keep pushing until somebody comes. Why are these minions doing this, man? Like, please. This coding is something else, isn't it? Oh, that's a big shot, Dangle. Did she ever use her TP back to lane? Hmm. Interesting. Well, one more plate and then you probably back off. Alright. <clears throat> Got a lot of gold there. Like four freaking plates. That's really good for me. Let's see. Do, 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 this. Probably should have bought HP so he could actually survive. First tower. It was free. It was free, right? Camille's right there. I don't even know what to say to these people. Like, do you even argue with them? Do they have some mental issues? What is it? Can't quite figure it out. I'm so sad that I have to flash right there, though. Keep surviving with one health from like potion healing and struggle ult and all that. Holy moly. Wait, it's so much easier to one on one a Camille than it is to one on one Riven though. On the champ. Oh well, that's pretty good at least. Riven dies too. And I get first tower. Echo is gonna come. I can't stack this up fast. I think I can one on one Echo. Pretty sure he's low from Rift Earl too, right? Well, I got a back, finally. This is big back too. Again. Gonna do my CDR build. And then immediately gotta go for, what do you call, HP. Morellos probably. After Morellos I could start killing people fast. But yeah, once 
I get Morello's. I'll be chilling. I got the 40% CDR and I'm getting life still. My champion will outscale Riven, I think. I'm not too sure. Pretty sure my champion outscales Riven. I mean, you're playing Rise. He doesn't even have the CDR build either. Like from his runes. I've scaling runes, he doesn't. Oh my gosh, I'm trolling. Could easily get cheesed. I'm not walking up. Just making sure he doesn't get the pink gold. That could tilt him and then he could take a bad fight and then he could die. I knew it! Huh. Alright, as long as I stay away from the walls, Camille can't jump on me and if she can't jump on me, I just kill her like that. Perfect. Nobody stops that, I can just keep pushing. That's actually really good that you killed her again. Slowly getting these stacks up. Okay, how much gold do you need for this? 700 plus 800, that's freaking 15. I think I have it. Actually, I don't. Maybe if I just do flat AP, it'll be good here too. Damage I do, eh? Okay, baby! I actually do so much damage now. So good. I need to go help. Man! Kinda wanted that kill. Alright, my champion scale, baby! This is so good. There you go, that's all I wanted. Just for this champion to completely scale. And I think I have one more item here, actually, or one more freaking gel camp. What build do I do? Full magic pin build? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, 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 I hurt so much. If I touch them now with this damage, they actually get melted in like two seconds. Not only you got a lot of freaking magic pen, but you have a lot of AP and 40% CDR. Oh, let's kill people now. 1k gold shot down too. From 0 3 to 4 3. This is a good comeback game. Just the patience paid off, I guess. I need to run south. I guess coming here too. Who's the last kill? Soraka? Yeah, probably Soraka. She's the only one I haven't killed. Let's check. It is. I don't know if it's worth using my flash for Lucian though. Hmm. I mean, I get the tower and we get the Lucian kill, so it's maybe worth it. Or if we didn't get the tower, it wouldn't be worth it. He's not even that fed. And my flash is a big deal. Look at that healing I have now. So good. Lovely. Saving serves to make sure that I could win one-on-one. -on -one. I should 100% be able to one-on-one. -on -one. Now, they have forgotten the fight. I'm actually acting scared so that she doesn't know that I can beat her. Like, as you see, like, I'm acting scared. So she just, like, thinks she can beat me. Just waiting on her. Wow. I missed the phase rush. That was my time to shine. Look at that damage I do do. Hey? Dude, I can't move anymore. That was bad. Whoops. I was so focused on how much damage I do. Ah, the Riven got it too. Anybody except Riven would be fine. The worst champion that could have got it, got it. Do we have any AD damage this game? I don't think we do. Our AD damage is kind of weak. But I know what to build. 
Did you survive? Zonius would be perfect here. And if we're ever gonna 5v5, I need to make sure that Zonius saves my ass. I get level 16 here too, that's really big. They should back up mid. I don't think I'm gonna go top, I'm gonna go straight through mid. Because Dragon is respawning and I need to be there. Unless Camille shows top, then I go top. But I don't think she's gonna pass. We have Baron. Actually, even if Camille shows, I should probably just. Damn it, I have TP soon, that's why I wanna go answer her. Oh wow, she was in the bush. Oh! Reach! Okay, that's fine. Look at her build, psychopath. I need Void Staff immediately for that Riven, don't I? Hold up, hold up, hold up, they're fighting. Oh, they're winning it. I don't even do damage. I mean, she's the only one that's sucking a more like a maniac though. So if I ignore fighting her and kill his teammates instead. Like that guy as an example. Oh! Alright, good. <clears throat> We're chilling. Should do death cap? Mm. That's what you build it for now. I have like good goals for it. Dude, uh, this damage I have. Oof. It's scary for enemy team to even like look at me. I can literally die in two seconds. I'm just gonna keep answering the splits. With the TP advantage off. I have two splits, really? Just win the game then. Where is Y going, by the way? Wait, she backed! Are you serious? We got two kills. Wait, this guy's actually just like. For real. You're ending the game, YTP. Holy shit, this Y is insane! What is that ego? Two people splitting. With TP, I have rise port. It's end game. It's not about them. Wait, dude! <laughs> what is happening to this game, guys? What is happening to this game? These are the people that are in diamond. Do you see this? Do you see what I have to deal with every day of my life? Just a bunch of delusional players who don't even know anything about the game. Holy moly. Wait, Seven did more damage than I did. But yo, alright, that was a good comeback game from 0 3 to 10 5. That was pretty good comeback. We got 14k gold, most gold. Riven got 12k, which wasn't bad. Oh okay, yeah, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. I'll be back with another video soon. I right, peace out boys, peace. It's that Z,